Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jimmy is Pumbo, and today we will be talking about the brand new huge update that was pushed out to the Galaxy Watch 4. Now, this update was pushed out about two or three days ago. Now, normally when it comes down to a Galaxy Watch update, they might be around 70 megabytes. They could be at 100. Now, this one is very, very huge at 670 megabytes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you where you're able to find this update because for me personally, this one was not automatically pushed to me. I didn't see no notification of an update. I was able to manually push it to the watch. So I'll show you that here in today's video. And then we'll also talk about the main noteworthy brand new features that is happening on this watch with this update because again there is quite a bit now this first one was actually something i was i was demonstrating over here on the right hand side was the brand new live wallpaper watch faces update because it comes with the galaxy s22 live wallpapers so even though you don't have the galaxy s22 just yet in your hand by the time it comes you will be able to have a watch on your wrist that you're able to match the wallpaper of that brand new phone that you just got out of the box. Now, along with that, there's new watch faces that have been added to match the new bands. There's also more customization options such as colors and clock fonts have been added to existing watch faces. Also, it provides information on moisture loss and intake required after outdoor running exercises for body balance and exercise efficiency. So basically, I will be able to show you where you can find that information even though we will not be running in today's video. But this one's actually pretty cool. It's letting you know about the moisture loss and then how much water that you would need to re-drink or intake to basically have the best body balance and exercise efficiency. Now, it also supports interval training for running and cycling exercises, making more systematic exercise plan with Galaxy Watch. Now, you are able to read through all of these here if you want to. This is mostly just talking about cycling, running, VO2, things like that. Now, I wanna talk about a few other things down here that would really kind of go for anybody and everybody just because everybody does sleep. So I'll show you where in the watch and on the phone over here, you, you'd be able to see information here, which is provides eight types of personalized sleep coaching based on sleep data measured by the watch. Create better sleeping habits with four to five weeks of coaching to match your sleep patterns. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this right here is only intended for general wellness purposes only. It's not intended for use in detection, diagnosis, or treatment of any medical conditions. Uh, and so there's a lot of things that you're also able to do along with this, even with smart things. So when it detects that the user is, is asleep, smart things can set actions for smart devices to create a good sleeping environment. So maybe you sleep better with some white noise machine you're able to have a smart things plug that you're able to you know notice when you're sleeping it'll be able to turn that on you'd be able to do that which is you know pretty cool uh, and then there's a bunch of other things too this one's talking about bixby voice things like that but again i want to talk about some of the more noteworthy things so the first one that we'll talk about today will be the galaxy s22 wallpaper so anytime that you first grab your watch you just want to press and hold on whatever clock face you are using and you want to find this icon right here this icon is just letting you know that it is the live wallpapers option so as you're swiping through it will be towards the very very back now if you want to find it quicker you can actually do it inside of the application on your phone and i can show you that as well so this is where you can go through and you can customize so the first customized screen here will be the clock type so you can see right now that the time is on the top now as you scroll through here you can either put it towards the bottom or you can put it towards the top so you're swiping with the scroll on the right hand side or you'd be able to just tap on the little time right here or tap on the little clock face and it'll bring it down for you. Now, once you find the clock type that you would like to use, you'd be able to swipe on over and then this is where you can add in complications. Basically, all that means is if you want to have like an app shortcut or if you wanted to have a time zone from a different location or the battery level that is left or maybe the, the steps that you're doing. So as you scroll around the left, the right, the top, the bottom, you're able to choose what you want to sit there. So again, you can have an app shortcut, the barometer, battery life, Bixby, uh, calendar, compass, media controller. You can have messages there phone so it's kind of a quick way to get into some of these things the blood oxygen body composition breathe so you can go through all of those and then figure out what you would like to use so as we were talking that you were able to do it not only on the watch itself but you can also do it on the phone so you want to go inside of your your samsung folder then you want to go inside of the galaxy wearable application now once you're inside of the galaxy wearable application this is where you're going to be at this main screen here so this is the home page of the galaxy wearable application you can go inside of watch faces and again you can scroll through a bunch of these quite a bit quicker than what you're able to do on the watch itself and you can also view all 
So now all you gotta do is just choose any of these. So here is the My Style. It's going to change it, you know, sitting right over here. Now there is that live wallpaper that we just got done talking about. Now through live wallpaper, this is where you can go through and then you can customize. Now again, this is gonna be a little bit quicker than what you're gonna see and do on your watch. So let's say that you wanted to use this uh, clock style sitting right there. Um, and then, you know, there's a bunch on the top. You also have a bunch on the bottom. Uh, if you wanted to, you can also go through and you could do the complication one. So let's say that you wanted to have maybe the media, you know, on the top left-hand side. And then what you can do is for the uh, complication two, you can do, let's say maybe battery. And then when you're done and you have all of that done, cause maybe you, you want it to be pretty clean. You have the time on the bottom, the date, you only have two things on the top. You hit on save, once you get that done, uh, then it's gonna be saved over here and shown over on your Galaxy Watch. Now, I also do wanna show you what it looks like if you're to head through some of the more customizational type of things. So this one right over here is one that you are able to customize just a little bit more. So let's say that we go through, you press and hold, you go to customize, and as I was mentioning on number, on uh, I think it was number three, that there was more colors, more text, things like that. So here's background, you can go through and you can change you know, some of these backgrounds. And then once you choose that, and you're gonna swipe on over, this is where you go through that clock type. And again, you can just tap on the screen if you want it to change. When you're done with that one, you could swipe one more time. This is where you have the clock color. So you can have it white or some of the other pastel colors. I think white is just a little bit more clean, uh, easier to read. And then again, the complication type of stuff. So you can also do all of that over here on the Galaxy wearable application. But if you don't wanna pull it out of your pocket or out of your purse or whatever, uh, then you can just do it all done right here through the watch itself. Now, I do wanna show you a few more things that is brand new, but just in case if you forget everything that is, you can just go inside of your watch settings scroll down and you can go to watch software update. Now, again, it will search for another update if there happens to be one, but it'll show you all the details of the last update you just got done doing. So this way you can go through, read again if you forgot. Now, the next thing I do wanna show you is how you're able to change the orientation for left wrist or right wrist. So let's say that you wanted to go into the right wrist. So you just wanna to go to your main page here, go to watch settings. This is where you wanna scroll down where it says general. Now inside of general, scroll down to where it says orientation. So now you're changing the orientation of not only the keys, but also the wrist. So if you wanna wear it on your right wrist, you just wanna choose right. You're basically just gonna flip this thing around. You're also gonna probably change the bands just so in this way it's gonna be a little bit better of a fit, a little bit more comfortable. The buckle's gonna be where it should be. And then you can change the key position because now the keys are on the left, not sitting on the right. So again, this is gonna make anybody happy. If you're left-handed, right-handed, Galaxy Watch 4 is for you. Now there are two more things I wanna show off. One of them will be on the watch, one will also be on the phone over here, and that's talking about one of the newer features with sleeping, and then one of them with running. Talking about the VO Max, as well as that 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 uh, water depletion and how much you'd have to re-drink after running or walking. So let's first head over to the watch. Let's say that you are gonna go for a run. So you're gonna go inside of your Samsung Health, you're gonna say that you're gonna go running. Uh, you can actually tap this to skip the, the count down. But when it comes down to these ones here, there's there's quite a bit of data that would have to be calculated and recorded. So that is why you can't really just do this for, you know, two minutes and then figure out how much you'd have to drink. More than likely, you didn't sweat enough for that. So I'm going to show you some of those little small details in terms of how far you'd have to run in order for this to work. So I'm going to pause the workout. I'm also now going to finish the workout, but I'm going to scroll down to at least show you where you can find it. So first off for the VO2 Max. So to measure, you have to walk at least four kilometers per hour for 10 minutes on a flat surface course with good GPS location. Now the next one's going to be the sweat loss. To measure, keep running at least 10 kilometers per hour for at least 2.5 kilometers. So this way it'll let you know about, you know, the sweat loss and then how much you would have to drink to basically balance yourself out. So that is where you're able to find that piece of data. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is going to be dealing with your sleep coach. Now this is just going to be right inside of Samsung Health. So I'm going to open up Samsung Health over here on the on the phone inside of the sleep category. And if you don't see the sleep category down here, you might actually see a little banner on the top, but this is where you wanna go inside of sleep. And then inside of here, this is where you can see, get started with sleep coaching. So you're just gonna tap there. And then this is gonna give you all of the details in the screen, um, which was actually right before I showed this, I found the screen and it was talking about everything. Uh, but basically it says here for sleep coaching, we're still gathering enough sleep data to provide you with the right coaching. 
keep wearing your watch while you're sleeping. Uh, so basically, you need to have five uh, week nights or weekday night sleeps. Then you also have to have two uh, weekend sleeps. So it wants to know, you know, exactly what are you doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Is all of the sleeping different than all of the other days? And then that's where you're able to get the coaching. Now, again, for me, uh, right before I shot this video, I opened up a screen that had a bunch of details. So you'll be able to see that again uh, right before you see the screen here. So you just basically hit on OK. Hey, so that was pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. I mean, there's a lot of really cool things. There's even snoring data. So you can actually have snore detection turned on. Now, I have to state that I am not much of a you know, watch wearing sleeping person. I like to almost have nothing on my wrists, neck, things like that. When I'm sleeping, I just find it to be, you know, a little distracting. I don't want it to, you know, scratch the partner or anything like that. So I'm not much of a wearable type at night. My bed is actually smart. My bed keeps track of everything for me and also keeps me cool in the summer, keeps me warm in the winter. Uh, so I'm not a huge user of the snoring data. So I don't know. Maybe I can have this sitting next to me and it can and it can detect the snoring. Oh, and I guess when it does come down to the snore detection, you do have to wear the watch. And then not only that, but you want to have your phone next to you plugged in with the bottom of the phone pointed towards you. So you're going to have some very sensitive mics on the bottom able to record your snore sessions. You know, which of these brand new features are your favorite? Again, you have some of those live wallpapers. You also have more wallpapers that'll match all of the brand new bands. You have a bunch of things for running, sleeping, uh, and then you can also change the orientation if you're left or right wristed in terms of what wearing a watch. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you